Hello, this video is about Hard Campaign, Chapter 11, Reconstruction of Byzantium, in the game, European War 7, Medieval. Reconstruction of Byzantium. Prologue. After the Fourth Crusade, Constantinople was occupied by the Crusaders, and the Empire of Nicaea was established out of the former Byzantine Empire. The Latin Empire became a lingering shadow in the hearts of all Byzantines. Battle of Pelagonia. After losing Constantinople to the Crusaders, the Nicaea Empire and the Despotate of Epirus became the two largest regimes in the fragmented Byzantine Empire. They both aimed to be the first to revive the empire, but this common objective became the source of the conflicts between the two. The objective in this mission is to eliminate a target, which is an elite and in a city, which heals the target by an absurd amount. The plan is to cut off any connection to other areas and then attack the city to zero durability which will prompt the target to escape. When it is attempting to escape, it won't be able to go anywhere, since it will be surrounded by all sides. But the target still has an absurd amount of health. Now to destroy the target with any abilities that does percentage damage is recommended, for example, Master Arsonist, which of the mission starting generals have. Siege of Constantinople. The Nicaea Empire won the final victory in its competition with Epirus to be the exclusive ruler of the empire. Under the leadership of the ambitious Michael VIII, the Nicaea Empire turned its attention to the Latin Empire, which has occupied Constantinople. In this mission, the objective is to capture three key areas and hold them to the 16th round. At the start of the mission, I will capture the other two keys areas first. Then capture all enemy cities and eliminate all enemy units, which allows completing the mission early instead of waiting for 16 rounds. Just to mention, by killing the elite enemy unite, will demoralize the whole enemy army.
Recovery of Constantinople. In 1261, the Nicaea Empire formed an alliance with the Republic of Genoa and was ready to attack Constantinople again. When they found that the Latin garrison and the Venice fleet had not returned from their expedition, they decided not to waste this unique opportunity. In this mission, the main objective is to capture a key area and the secondary objective is to destroy a certain unit. In the start, I need to capture the two enemy cities to reveal the bottleneck. And from the bottleneck rush to the key area, also on the key area has the target unit. Make sure to complete the secondary objective first, before completing the main objective. Battle of Prinitza. After re-establishing the Byzantine Empire, Michael VIII tried to eliminate the residual forces in the surrounding Latin Empire territories. In 1263, the Byzantine army launched an attack on the Principality of Achaia, but encountered tenacious resistance in capturing its capital. In this mission, the objective is to capture three key areas. From the start of the mission, the ally has control of one of the key areas, but it will lose it. So, I placed some units as protection and to immediately recapture if there is an opportunity. Then with my over-leveled army, I crush and conquer all enemy cities. Just to mention, by attack the furthest most key area, will spawn an enemy units in the sea. Battle of Makriplagi. The failure at the Battle of Prinitza put the Byzantine Empire on the defensive in the war in Morea. The problems of mercenary defection and dispersion of troops were also becoming very serious. In 1264, under the leadership of William I, the Latin Imperial Army, launched an attack on the scattered Byzantine forces. In this mission, the objective is to capture and hold two key areas to 16th round. Start of the mission, an ally has control one of the key areas, but as usual, it will lose it. Same strategy as with the last mission, which is to crush and conquer with over-leveled units. 
but will destroy all enemy units and capture all cities to complete this mission faster. Battle of Neopatras. In 1274, the Byzantine Empire launched an attack on John of Thessaly. Facing the massive Byzantine army, John Doukas had no choice but to seek help. In this mission, the main objective is to occupy a key area and the secondary objective is to protect a target unit. There is also a target unit, which I have to protect. The idea, in this mission, was to have at least one unit near the primary and secondary targets to protect them from enemies and is usually eliminate and conquer all cities, but to get access to the key area, I had to kill two units, which are near it. Battle of Demetrias. In order to maintain the empire's control over the Aegean Sea, the Byzantine Empire reorganized its navy. However, the defeats in the battles of Morea and Setoposi dealt a heavy blow to the Byzantine forces. The Latin lords seized this opportunity to attack the Byzantine navy, anchored at the port of Demetrias. In this mission, the objective is to capture three key areas. I also suggest not bother much with the enemy ships, since they will always more coming after the first set is destroyed and so on. One of the key areas is a city, which will repair itself once per round, I recommend attacking first with the weakest unit, so it uses its heal of the round. Then attack with the strongest units with percentage damage abilities and siege weapons, such as Orban's cannon. The other strategy is to heal our elite ally unit and donate a soldier to it, but for that, I would need generals that have the abilities to heal and donate, for which I didn't bother with.
Siege of Barat. For the Angevin Kingdom of Sicily, Barat is a city of great strategic significance. In 1280, in order to block enemy access to the heartlands of the Byzantine Empire, the emperor sent troops to attack Barat. In this mission, the objective is to capture five key areas. One of the key areas will be hidden and to reveal it I have to capture three key areas. Just the usual plan of using over-leveled units to crush the opposing force. Epilogue, the fall and recovery of Constantinople made the Byzantines realize the great threat they face from the Western Latin world. At the same time, on the Anatolian peninsula in the east, a new empire was ready to move against the Byzantines.